Welcome to CATS Tutorials, and in this video, I'll be covering practice problem 6.11. Now, if you are familiar with combining series and parallel resistances or resistors, then this should be a simple task for you because you basically do the same thing when you're dealing with inductors. So here we have 40 and 20 in series, which means the equivalent of that would be 40 plus 20, which is 60 millihenries. Now I can just quickly erase and use this, this same circuit. So let's just erase as we go along. Now we have the we have the combination of these two, or we have the equivalent of this section, which is 60 millihenries. Now this 60 millihenries now shares two nodes with the 30 millihenries, which means they're in parallel, right? So using the parallel formula. This is it. So you're just going to multiply 60 plus 30 is 90. So 3, 1. So that is 20 millihenries. So now you're going to erase this part and replace it with its equivalent. All right. Which is 20 millihenries. Now, moving along, we have the 20 millihenries in series with the 100 millihenries, which means we say 100 plus 20, which is 120. Now we'll replace these two with the equivalent. So we will have 120 millihenries. Now this 120 millihenries shares two nodes. With this 40 millihenries, so we apply the parallel formula again. So 40 multiplied by 120 divided by 40 plus 120, which is 160, which means you have four, one, and four into that is 30. So we have 30 millihenries as the result of these two in parallel. So we have 30 millihenries, 30 millihenries. Now also here, we have 30 and 20 in series, which means we just say 20 plus 30 to add those up, which is 50 millihenries, right? Now replacing that with the equivalent, we have 50 millihenries. And finally, now the result of these two will be our final answer. Now here's a trick if you don't know about it, if you have two resistors in parallel, which have the same value, then the result of that will be half of one of the values, or just half of one value. The same applies to inductors, because we add inductors just as we add resistors, and I'll show you how. So this is it. 50 multiplied by 50 divided by 50 plus 50, which is 100, and this will be 2, that would be 1, which means we have 25 millihenries, and which means the L equivalent is 25 millihenries. So you don't really have to do all of this. Just know that if you have two values which are in parallel, whether a resistor or an inductor, then the result will be half of one of the values. And that is how you solve this problem.